This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello everybody, welcome to another review. So I'm going to tell you a bit of a story here that goes exactly with this game. Um, Gen Con this year, Sam and I actually had a few minutes to walk around and kind of just check things out. We're always looking for something new and something different. So we're walking along, and of course, everybody, it's Sam Haley. Oh my God, let's stop the planet. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of walking behind them, and I stop at this booth, and I see this map, and I go, that's interesting. And I'm looking, and these three guys are there, and, you know, you could just see it in their eyes. They are just pushing and talking and this, that, and the other, you know, a game. And, and when, when, when you're at Gen Con, you know, Let's face it, people are there to sell their product and sell their idea of a game. Well, when I stopped, I was kind of, uh, and I said, and as I listened to the gentleman talk to uh, uh, some of the people that were there, and I said, uh, you know something, this looks interesting. So I called my ominous friend and I said, Sam, come here. And of course... They saw that it was Sam Healy, not Rob Warren, and they they stopped everything, and they go, Sam, I'm so glad you stopped by the booth. And I'm like, okay, um, hi. Well, you know, not that I cared, but it was just, it, it was a funny moment. And, and Sam always looks at me because we, we always laugh about stuff like that. But this game turned out to be something that was very, very fascinating to me. And today we are going to be talking about Fallen Lands, a post-apocalyptic board game from our good friends at Fallen Dominion. The thing that got me was how much passion they were talking about this game. And it had got my curiosity. And once it gets my curiosity, Sam always says, hmm, maybe you got something there. Let me see what's going on here. Well, did my curiosity pay off? I guess there's only one way to figure that out. Let's go down to the board. All right, so let's talk up this game real quick. And... Um, I'm not going to give you everything that's going on here because, boy, that would take me a day and a half. But I really do want to put out some of the really, really cool things that is going on with this game. This is a just, just absolute masterpiece. Now, as you can see, there is a track here. The way you win is, number one, to get 80 town health points, which, as you can see, will count you and get you there. Or you can get 20 prestige points now how do you get that well there's a number of different ways to get that one of the things that I really that really kind of really blew me away and when I started setting up the game and everything was the mission track how you put the missions here you roll 2d10 and say that's the first number and say this is 66 well mission 1 is going to be at 66 because there are a hundred, it's a zero to a hundred. So there's all kinds of things that are going on. And 66, if you can find it, 69, 68, 67, 66. So you would put a mission target and you put seven of those out there. You then can roll and decide what faction you're going to be randomly. I chose a two. So, well, right there, they have it all numbered, zero to ten. And that is the the uh, faction that you would be the faction cards of course are just absolutely fantastic you have your resources here how many movement points that can go up and down depending on certain cards and things and then you have your character groups where as you can see you have different colored dice well guess what you're going to roll those dice and those effects will happen to um, uh, plus or minuses to to that particular group. Now, speaking of characters, um, wow! I mean, that is the character deck. So you're never gonna ran. You're never gonna have the same type of characters. And as you can see, there's a ton of stand. That's eight health and psychology. If you lose that, guess what? You are pretty much dead. They have different types of powers and 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 things like that. There's science and, and things like that. 
uh, uh, that that will get you through. Um, uh, there's a techn their technical skill bonus, their uh, mechanical bonus, diplomacy, uh, which I don't see here. Okay, uh, over here is their combat skill. He has a nine for a combat skill, a five for a a survival skill, and his medical skill bonus is a six so that pretty much explains a little bit about this guy and 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 everybody is so i mean i, I every card i mean if you look at all these cards and the different characters everybody has a little bit of a saying so a little bit of background about themselves a lot of depth put into this now let's talk about some of the spoils okay this is the spoils deck okay and and the spoils deck are are, are are things that you'll find and equipment and things like that so the things that you can equip are insane moving along when you stop stop and by the way let me show you these tokens I'm just gonna get this out of the way there's a town roster there's an auction house so you can auction things off there's a, a technology tree that 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 goes into things and, and just it, it, it this game is so so deep you have mission cards and these mission cards uh, there are some stories here that are just unbelievable these things were well thought out completely uh, I, I I mean the success and the failures and the things and the, and, and the consequences of so many different things that happen here are just unbelievable and let's talk about action cards I mean look how many action I mean this all comes in this box and everything is 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 so deep and and enriching that as you're moving along what is left of the United States that you have a whole bunch of different types of cards I mean look at this there's the plane cards the mountain cards and and, and explains over here what where what the hexes are uh, matter of fact, I'll just push that over. There we go. Well, well, let's turn the camera. There we go. Here we go. We have a key that, that tells you everything that you need to know about what is going on here. When you go into a city, there's a whole bunch of things that happen there. When you're walking along the plains, there's all kinds of things that... Just unexpected events. Mountains. Well, nothing good's going to happen. There's nothing good happening to you. Well, I mean, there are some cards that, that, that help you along the way. But you're, you're, you're building your town. You're dealing with missions. You're dealing with you know, where you're landing, where you're going to land, and, and, the, and the consequences of that. Trying to get to the missions and complete the missions. Building up your town. Trying to gain prestige as a leader to either have your town health at, at you know uh, to a point where you can grasp victory or your leadership so strong that you win by leadership and the story along the way I mean just unbelievable the game is extremely complex I'll give you that but is it worth worth the experience to do such and, and of course you have your tokens which I've gotten yelled at that these are not painted by my daughter uh, if dad if we're gonna play this we can't tell which one's which you're gonna have to paint these yeah well thanks a lot guys the, you know a turn order phase you know you start with resolving things then you have a town business phase where you're gonna deal you're gonna uh, resource production that's where you're gonna produce uh, uh, resources your auction house your town event chart there, there's a whole thing that goes on there and then your financial period where you're going to sell, purchase, uh, work on uh, technologies, d defense for your town. I mean, really, hire more uh, NPCMs, which are, are non-player characters, of course. Uh, then, then you're going to go into your party ex explore exploit phase, where you're going to move, and then you're going to have to deal with things, and 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 how and how the we the weeks 
affect certain things. And then your end phase, where you're going to adjust the turn marker, of course, and then pass the first player sheet, which comes with an unbelievable sheet, which explains everything to you. But you are just sucked into this, and this just plays like nothing I've, I've played. And I, you know, I, 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 the, the thing that really gets me is one of my favorite video games of all time was uh, Wastelands. And I've always wanted a game that made me feel like I was playing Wastelands because I was just so sucked into that. You never knew what was going to happen. As far as a post-apocalyptic game, this really makes me feel like I'm playing it. And I guess the best way to explain it is to talk more about this up top. I didn't cover everything. There's a lot to it. But we are planning on doing a live playthrough. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy what you see when we play Fallen Lands. So let's take it up top and get my final thoughts and what I think of Fallen Lands. Okay, all I'm going to say is wow. You know, I always speak very heavily about when people are very passionate about a product or, or, or a project. And when you put close to 13 years of your life into something and it shows and you see it, you look at the board and you go, uh, okay. And, and, and some of the art, it, the art's good, but, you know, it's not jaw-dropping art. Okay, I mean, if that's the worst thing I've got to say about this game, then, then, then so be it. But when you start going through some of this, and you see how deep and immersive this game is, this, to me, is a game that, if I was living up north, and even though I'm, I'm, I'm in the south here, and I've got... A, a snowstorm coming in, a rainstorm, or anything. I'm breaking this game out, and I'm I'm losing the entire afternoon playing this game because that's how immersive it is. It says uh, an hour per person. Okay, so you get four people, four hours. It's four hours that goes by very quickly. It's not a drag out four hours. And I don't even think it's that long if you know the game. Uh, Janice and I sat down and play tested this off camera. And the reason we did that is because there is just so much going on here that we were, we were still messing up some of the rules. And we plan on doing something live here to show you how this works. And I'm telling you, for me, the stories. Whoever came up with all the stuff that that goes with this game i have to commend them and tell them that their imagination not only are they a sick person and need help i mean that kiddingly but i mean to come up with these stories and and and, and when you read some of this and you go wow you know i just ran into that and that's what happens and it, there's so much going on the game's never the same Everything's changing. The experience is different for every person. And you're trying to get these prestige points and these these town health points. And you're getting, well, should I upgrade my car? Should I? And you're getting, uh, there's so many cards here that if they come out with an expansion, you know, you could play this game maybe a hundred times and never get the same experience. That's putting a passion into something. And, 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 and I, I've just am blown away by this game. And I can't suggest this game any higher. I'm going to give this one of my highest ratings. This is a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, what's the only thing that I can say bad about it? Um, oh, there's really nothing. Um, maybe length. Maybe if there was a shorter, you know, for somebody that might... I think the learning curve takes half a point off but when you understand what they're trying to accomplish here you understand that this is such a complex game this is for a gamer this isn't for beginner gamer gamers you can't sit somebody down and go hey come on and 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 and, and play this game i'm going to introduce you to board gaming uh -uh, that this ain't the game this is as far as apocalyptic games this is the benchmark in my eyes um 
I have that that wasteland feel when I used to play wastelands back in the 80s um, you don't know what's going to happen what's going to come at you and I loved that video game and and when I sit here I get sucked in and I feel that game and I loved that game just as much as I loved Pirates by Sid Myers when I play a Pirates game that is the benchmark to what I gauge everything from are you going to suck me in am I going to feel like I am a pirate and I'm adventuring well with wastelands am I in the wastelands am, am I really trying to survive in what is a dead nation I get that feel here the theme is very very heavy I can't recommend this higher um, I'm going to talk talk to some people and I'm telling you right now I'm not going to turn this upside down go to Fallen Dominion it is worth the money and if these guys are going to put out expansions uh, I'm going to buy everything I have for this game and this is going to be a staple game in our home where if we've got a long afternoon we want to play something it's going to be this um, I Will it ever replace uh, Talisman? Well, that that's because of Mimi. But I got to tell you that if I can get them to play all this, I I guarantee you that this will will definitely be one of our big holiday games that we play. So I think I said enough. I talked enough. Now, did I say enough to make you go to the website and check it out? I hope so. Go check it out at Fallen Dominion. Dot com and go check out and uh, let them know your old pal Rob sent you. Till next time, I'm Rob Bourne and we will see you soon.